I ran into a problem where I filled up my SSD to put my games on and I had nowhere else to install my games so I decided to get a hard drive. So what I do right here guys and I want to show you guys how to do it. Uh, what I do is just go over to uh, connect my, my, you know, my SSD connector or my hard drive. I go to uh, manage system management, come over here to disk management. I have a tutorial down below in the description if you don't know how to do that. Go ahead and find your hard drive and we're going to format it, either hard drive or SSD. Right here guys, I want to expand my uh, Steam library. So I go right here, I find it. I go ahead and click format. Uh, I, you need to make sure that it's on NTFX, not XFA or none of that stuff. For Windows, it's NTFS. And you can select the game, I mean, you can select the name that you want. So right here, I put in new Steam library. Hit the like down below, guys, and share the video if it helped you. So here we are we wait for it to format it should be very easy and fast there it is so now we are ready to go into a steam and make a new library it's very easy guys alrighty here we are on steam so what I do is I go ahead and go to steam settings I go to downloads and Steam library folders. So I click that. And right here, what I want to do is I want to add a new library folder. As you can see right there, there's only three selected. So what I do is I go and look for it. And my mine is D. So I select, I try to select, and it's just not going to let me. So we're gonna try something else. Go ahead and open a finder. Go in there and create a new folder. You want to name it Steam or whatever the hell you want to name it. I select Steam and close that out. Let's go back to Let's go back to Steam now. All right, we try it one more time. D and now we're going to select the folder that we created there it is select and now we have a steam library on our new hard drive or SSD we come over here and make sure it's there so we click steam see it's already there there's nothing installed yet so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead in and uh, try to install a game I'm gonna find one of my games that I haven't installed it yet. Trust me, I have a lot of games that I don't play or that I haven't even played yet. So I go ahead and uh, you know select the folder destination right here. So I'm gonna look for D. There it is, D Steam. Next. And there it is, guys. It's gonna start looking for the location and it's going to start downloading. Now guys, one thing that I want to share, you can have up to as many hard drives that you can add to your computer, I mean to your motherboard. So here it is guys, it's downloading, so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and check, make sure there's a new folder in there, you can see there, it's downloading, something is downloading. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and play the game and make sure that it downloaded. Alrighty, so here I am after it downloaded five minutes later and there is my game insurgency So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's on, in the library So It's there steam click steam again common And there it is and There it is So now I'm gonna go ahead and play the game. I'm gonna click to play the game Let's see how fast it opens. Man, that was fast. Well guys, there you go, there it is. Fully working, working perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. 
you load up, fast boot up, <laughs> it's just great. Guys, hit that like down below, share the video if it help you, subscribe if it help you, and guys, thanks for watching. I try to make my tutorials as simple as possible. There's some videos out there, man, that you know they take you there, they take you to the next page, and I'll go over here and I'll go over there. I'm like, god damn, dude, those tutorials are complicated as fuck. I end up with a headache at the end of those tutorials sometimes. So, uh, my mission here is to make them simple as possible. See you guys next time. I love you guys.